sending emails, adding HTML tables, attaching CSV files, all with the Power BI and Power Automate integration. Check it out. So the first thing you need to do, it's import the Power Automate visual for Power BI. How do you do this? First, you log in into your Power BI account. You come to the ellipses, like more visuals, search for Power Automate, and then you'll find this one. You add it, and then it's going to be added to your visuals. Once you have added this one here to your Power BI visuals, you click it, and then it's going to open a page just like this. Uh, the next step would be you import to this visual here the data that you want to send on email. So, for instance, I want to send the provinces and the number of flights that I have. So, I'll come here and I'll break province, and then the second one, the measure that I have for total flights. Just like this, I'll have the same data here now in. Uh, what I need to do now is follow the instructions that I have inside of the visual. So, for instance, add the data, set up the flow, apply and share, and then format the button. Um, once I've, I'm done importing the data, I click on the ellipses, I go to edit, and then when I click edit, you guys will see that it's going to open the Power Alternate page that we have, the same way that we have on the, on the browser. So here, I'll go to uh, Instant Cloud Flow, and then I'll create a new flow. I already have one ready here for you guys to see it. And if I click it, you see that I can edit this and show you guys all the steps that I took to create this flow. So this part is created automatically once you import it to Power BI and bring all the data. The second one that I've created was Compose. I import the Power BI data in here. Second one, I create a CSV table. So I get the output from here, and then I import here. I create a file which is a PBI. Folder. I imported, uh, created a file to my PBI uh, OneDrive folder, PBI. I created a name for report CSV. And then I got this output in here. The third part is creating an HTML page. And this HTML page is created, it's being, it's being created from this Compose Power BI data output. And the last part is sending the email which I'm sending this email here with this text, uh, adding this output, which is the HTML file, and also adding the report, which is a CSV file attachment here, along with the content of the attachment, which is the output from the CSV. Once this is all done, I go back to the report. I'm going to cancel this one. And then I'm going to click on this trigger. I'm going to trigger now. And while it's triggering, you guys can see now that every time I hover over kind of hover over it's actually changing the power you can uh edit the, the the looks of this button here just like the button okay so i've done this right here just to make a difference whenever i hover over it and after the flow is triggered an email is received and as you guys can see here i have the export as a csv file and also the html table with the data along with the uh the button uh the text that i put inside of the content that 